it's Haley from AGK Artwork, and in today's video, I'm back at it again with the Powerful Packs unboxings. As always, this video is not sponsored. I buy this subscription with my own money, and I'm here to give you my honest opinion on each product. Let's get straight into the box. All right, so this first product that I'm pulling out here is this colored pencil blender. It's called Melt. I've worked with mineral spirits before for colored pencil and I know that that can be a little bit dangerous so some people like to wear gloves, other people are just kind of careful with it. Because of that I was wondering if this was also dangerous and it says on the back in case of contact with eyes and or skin, rinse immediately with plenty of water. So that makes me think maybe I should use gloves when I'm working with this. So yeah, I'll be careful with this, but this should be pretty cool. So it looks like I got a nice array of colored pencils. Ooh, these are from Japan. Is this from Japan too? Made in Japan. Okay, so I see a theme here. A lot of these are made in Japan and Japan has amazing art materials. So this is really exciting for me. This brand is called Hovian Artists Colored Pencil. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Okay, moving on to this pencil. This is a Stabilo pencil. It says on the pencil, paper, glass, plastic, metal. So I'm guessing that means that this can work on paper, glass, plastic, or metal. So that's cool. And it also transfers on your skin, just a warning. Next up in here is this really cute sticker. It's of a notebook and it has the like kawaii mouth. That's really cute. Next up, we have this paintbrush. It's another Princeton Select. I feel like we've gotten a couple of these in the past in these powerful packs boxes. It's in the number four round. And the last but not least, we've got our illustration boards by Crescent Creative Products. I have never heard of this brand before, but these seem pretty thick. It says, perfect for all pencil, colored pencil, pastel, and ink applications. So that's cool, because, you know, we've got some things in the past from Papal Packs that I can use on this board as well. They are 8x10 professional grade, so that's pretty nice. All right, so I got my Powerful Packs online card here, and it says that these Holbein oil-based colored pencils are highly pigmented and has a medium-hard 3.8 millimeter thick lead core. It also mentions that you can draw on top of watercolor, gouache, and acrylic color. You could probably do that with Prismacolor, can't you? I never thought of that, so see, that's another reason I love these cards. I feel like it teaches me different things I could do that I never even thought of. So that's really cool. I'm excited to play around with those. Each of these colored pencils retail for $3.95, which is a little bit more expensive than Prismacolors. I believe you can get Prismacolor pencils individually at Michael's for $2.29. All right, next up, we've got this Melts Color Pencil Blender and it does exactly what you think it would do. It softens and blends the colored pencil once the colored pencil's already down on the paper. Just for swatching purposes, I might swatch my Prismacolors next to the Holbein colored pencils just to see the difference, and I might go ahead and try my Mineral Spirits on both of them, and I might try this Melts on both of them to see if they react differently. Just as a science experiment, but for my actual piece itself, I will only be using these products. This Melt Colored Pencil Blender retails for $8.99, which I feel like is kind of expensive for the size. Like, it's a pretty small little container, and I feel like you could get some mineral spirits for less than that in a much bigger bottle. I don't know. Maybe it's magic, we'll see. So next up, we've got these Crescent Cold Pressed Illustration Board Pack of Three. These illustration boards retail for $10.46. So this is called the All Stabilo Colored Pencil. It's water soluble. It says that it will mark clearly, densely, and legibly on many surfaces, including acetate, paper, glass, metal, photo, and film. That's pretty cool. Wipes off with a damp cloth on smooth surfaces and erases on paper. So it erases on paper. 
we will definitely have to check that out in the swatches because that's hard for me to believe because this is black like very dark and very thick this stabilo colored pencil retails for one dollar and seventy cents and last but not least we have this princeton select brush this brush retails for seven dollars and 99 cents which is kind of pricey the grand total for june of 2021's premier powerful packs subscription box is fifty six dollars and seventy nine cents i'm pretty sure that this might be the lowest value that we've gotten in a premier box but with that being said, if you do pay month to month for the premier box, you're still getting about $17 extra of what you pay for. So I just read the first prompt, so let's just go ahead and read all of them. Prompt number one, seahorse. Prompt number two, destination. Prompt number three, something to celebrate. Prompt number four, today's weather. Let's just get straight into the drawing. It's a couple days later and here's what the finished piece looks like. As usual, I used every single product that I received in the box and I did use two extras just because I really thought the piece needed it. These are the two products that I used that were not included in the box and they are both Uniball gel pens. These Holbein Artist colored pencils are overall pretty good. I would definitely say they're a success but I do not prefer them over my Prismacolors. I do not think that these Holbein Artist colored pencils blend as well as my Prismacolor colored pencils, but if you love to saturate your paper in colored pencils with a really thick coating, these are really great. This finished piece is actually my second attempt at the Seahorse prompt. The first one didn't go so well because I used these colored pencils in a very saturated way. I coated the paper in these pencils very thick to the point where they were not blending and I had completely forgot about this melt. So once I tried to actually use the melt to blend everything together, it was like a big soupy muddy mess because I used way too much of these colored pencils. So the second go around, I used these pencils correctly and a lot lighter than I would use my Prismacolors to let the melt do its job. Overall, these colors are very bright and fun. I kind of wish they included a darker color within this brand, but I'll get to that in a second. If you are looking for a good colored pencil and you don't like Prismacolor, you should definitely give these a shot and see if these might work better for you. But do I recommend them over Prismacolor? Probably not because they are more expensive and I don't really see a big enough difference. And I think that Prismacolors are actually easier to work with. So next up, let's talk about this melt fluid. This melt fluid retails for $8.99 and I kind of have a problem with that just because a lot of this product goes a very little way. In addition to using a lot of this product, I also found that some of the colors blended more easily than others. So there was a little bit of inconsistency there. I don't think I would recommend this product to anyone because of how much product you have to use, especially after seeing my experimental swatches using both Melt and Mineral Spirits to see which one blends better. It's clear to see that Mineral Spirits can do just as well, if not better, than this Melt fluid. Moving on, let's talk about this Stabilo colored pencil. Now this colored pencil is very, very soft, which makes it very, very smudgeable. If you are very careful and you always know where your hands are at all times, I would definitely recommend this product because it is very, very dark and rich. 
But if you are not so careful or you tend to forget things, such as myself, I would stay far, far away from this colored pencil. It's just too dangerous for me. I had to watch my hand the whole time. I used it last because I knew that it would be a disaster if I tried to start with it. And I find that it really overpowered all of the other colored pencils in this box. I also want to mention another way I used this melt. Because this colored pencil is so soft and water soluble, I kind of experimented and mixed these two together to make some type of like paint melt. <laughs> it was very transparent and it turned out gray, obviously, but I do think it was very effective. It helped me a lot with my background because I was having a lot of trouble between making my background too light or too dark. And I, I feel that these two products mixed together made a good medium and allowed the foreground to pop a little bit more. As you can see, a little bit of the paint fluid I mixed together with the black colored pencil and the melts liquid did seep through my masking tape, but it really doesn't bother me that much. I actually think it almost adds to the piece and makes it look a little bit more raw and I kind of enjoy that look sometimes. If it really bothers me, I can always either trim it or put a new mat on it or I could use a white jelly roll pen, which I probably shouldn't. Everyone always looks down upon like fixing mistakes with a white gel pen, but some people do it, okay? I've done it before, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, there's definitely many options I could do to fix that, but it really doesn't bother me. So for now, I'm definitely gonna keep it. So lastly, we got this Princeton Select Brush, which we have seen in the past in a different size, but we have seen this brand. I have no issues with this brush. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. It held a lot of water and, or product, the melts liquid. And I just thought this was overall a nice brush. I will say this though, $7.99 for one brush, I would hope that it's an outstanding brush. <laughs> At least that's just me, because I tend to get cheap packs of brushes. But for me, $7.99 for this guy, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to test out my cheap brushes versus my expensive brushes and see if there's really a big difference. Comment down below if that's something you'd want to watch. Other than our adorable sticker, of course, the last item is the actual illustration board itself. And let me just say, I'm very impressed with this board. I knew it was gonna be pretty sturdy because of how thick it is. It's like incredibly thick, but I didn't know it could withstand this much distress. I did layer after layer after layer of this melts liquid and on top of that I was adding new colored pencil layers and there is absolutely no visible areas of distress so I'm really impressed with that. The only thing that I can see is from the masking tape where it did rip off a teeny bit when I was taking off the masking tape. Um, that's pretty typical though. I do take my masking tape off very slowly and very carefully, but sometimes it just happens and it's inevitable. You'd only be able to see it if you're like really playing nice by with it. So nothing to worry about. I would say this box is pretty average. I feel like we've seen more interesting boxes in the past. Nothing in this box really stood out to me other than the illustration board. In conclusion, I'm not super stoked with this box, but I'm also not disappointed. I just think it was a pretty average box. I definitely got some good brain exercise out of it because I was a little frustrated after my first attempt failed. But now that this is finished, I am really happy with it. I love the rainbow, magical, unicorn-esque vibes it's giving me. The one thing that I was thinking about doing <laughs> was adding a couple rhinestones or like gems as like bubbles or something. 
because I just want to live that extra unicorn fantasy, you know what I mean? <laughs> but other than that, I'm not really sure what I could do. If you have any suggestions of what I could add to this to maybe make it feel a little bit more finished, please leave your suggestions down below in the comments. They would be highly appreciated by me. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.